Do you know what time it is? Uh, about four o'clock. Huh. Yep, come on. It has been half a century since we have done a mail time, and this time we are being visited by the good old Sijiz Republic. I think that's pronounced correctly. Okay. You gotta read the note first, because that's polite. After watching the diamond cutting video, I thought it may be interesting to cut a piece of sapphire, so I'm sending you one. Its Mohs hardness of nine is still larger than the hardness of the garnets you use in his abrasive, so it should take a while to cut through it. The stone is from Karur District in India, if someone wants to know. Did you want to know? I was curious, yeah. Ooh. It looks like someone's glass eye. It kind could of be like a glass eye. Are glass eyes made out of sapphire? Probably. A while back when we did a video with Cody's lab, he had a large, well, it's large for a diamond. It was about that big. A diamond that we cut in half to see if we could do it, but there were some people that had some issues with that, saying that the diamond wasn't solid or pure, that had a lot of fractures in it, so that maybe made it a lot easier to cut. But now I'm curious what this will do, because that looks pretty solid. It's a much thicker piece. And what does the hardness scale go up to like a 10 or something? Yeah, so diamond would be 10. This is a 9. The so garnet is as like. As far as I'm concerned, that means it's the second hardest thing you could get. So if anybody in the comments knows of anything that is harder than sapphire, but not as hard as diamond, let us know. I, I just can't think of anything. Not off the top of my head. As so. crystals massive and granular. Conchoidal splintery. Okay? <laughs> And it's a Mohs hardness of nine. Did you know it has a vitreous luster? Sapphire is the birthstone for September and the gem of the 45th anniversary, but a sapphire jubilee occurs after 65 years. So, I'm what waiting is, for that jubilee. What does that even mean? It's just, just on Wikipedia, okay? So the plan on this is we're gonna cut it right down its uh, shiny side. And we'll do it lengthwise and were you able to find the sapphire setting? Hmm. Wasp away. We have it set to the diamond setting, thickness about one inch. It would take about 275 minutes. It cost over five, almost six hundred dollars, and that's for seventeen. Inches. Oh wait, that's for seventeen inches. It'd be about thirty-four minutes. 34 minutes. Um, about $72. And for 17 inches, it would be 360 pounds of abrasive. How much for uh, two inches? 45 pounds. 45 pounds of abrasive. <laughs> so when we turn it down to tungsten, everything is significantly less. We're going to try that first and then just hope that it works. And if not, you'll hear from us. It's like working it's, just, its way. It's pushing it. It's not even cutting it. It's just pushing it. Oh, wow. That is really warm. Um, <laughs> clay, the clay just melted. It's like ice cream. <laughs> so we kept it going, hoping that once it got further down here to where it was thinner, it would punch through, but it just kind of mangled it. So we never... stopped going through the bottom at about that point. So we can confirm that this is harder than tungsten. The solution we've reached is we're just going to increase the thickness to about two inches now of tungsten. We'll start over. We should be able to get up to this point and then hopefully that's slow enough to get through there. And then while it's going, 
We'll spray it down with water every once in a while to keep it cool to make sure the clay is holding it. Water cooled. Science. We got some flex in there? Wrecked. Ooh, there's some good flex. And what the heck is that? Uh, that's probably the... Is that from one of our mishaps? Did the water start trying to go like the opposite direction? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> that half looks a lot cleaner. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's still pretty ugly. This half got chewed up quite a bit when we were just trying to power our way through it. So, huh. But overall, that only took like 12 minutes at that final speed for the full length. That's not bad, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's hard, very hard material. So the crazy thing is that it's cutting with high pressure in garnet, and garnet is what, like an eight hard? I think so. And this is a nine hard? but it's still able to cut it. So yeah, so... Those, What's the science behind that? Um, the way that I make sense of it is that you got a lot and a lot of pressure. So each little one, like, garnet piece probably breaks, but it makes a tiny scratch here. And then you just get, like, millions of tiny little scratches, and it cuts through. So we scratched this sapphire in half? Mm -hmm, scratched it in half. <laughs> we have a bunch of new shirts that are available for purchase. There's going to be a link down in the description if you want to pick those up. My favorite is probably the least popular one. It's the hard drive being cut in half that's got the cell diagram. And so every part of the hard drive is labeled wrong based on the way I described it in that video. You got the microscopic endoplasmic reticulum that spins uh, underneath the nucleus here. We have that shirt available. We've got just some logo shirts available. We've got a drone flying into Anthony's beard available. Uh, click on that link down in the description to check those out and order your own shirt. We also have a promo code for the shirts right now. If you put water jet in at checkout, you can get an extra 10% off of your shirt. So definitely go do that right now. And uh, thanks again to how do you say that in Chizik? Philip Novak. That was right. Thanks, dude, for sending us a giant sapphire from India. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense. He's not from India. But it's sapphires. How did he get it? From India. You think people can never go to India? People are allowed to leave their countries? I mean, I've never done it personally, but I think I've heard of it on the news.